Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this envisioned cable organizer. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful, I'll put a link to this in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So when I got this delivered to me, the first thing I noticed is that it was very heavy. So you would not expect a box this small to be this heavy. So on the side, it says organizes your cables and keeps them from sliding off your desk when disconnected. Durable weighted construction, compact design, maximizes space, made from non toxic eco-friendly silicone holds multiple cables of various sizes it says bonus includes four reusable cable ties so I've made a series of videos on my desk and my desk setup so I'll put a link below to my playlist where you can find those other videos and I'll be adding this video to that playlist too so your thank you card here's the cable organizer and here are the straps now these straps are a lot shorter than the other straps I have that are similar to this. But I gotta say, most of the time, it has a big long end hanging off. I don't need much. Usually when I bundle up some cables, I'm just bundling up a little bit. So I don't need 12 inches hanging off the end. So here, you can do that to bundle your cables. But I think most people know how to use these. I want to check this out. So this is very heavy feeling, so I don't think it's going to slide around too much. So the idea here is that you could put this on your desk or table towards the back, and then you can have cables sticking out of it. So I have two cables here. This is a USB-C cable. We can press it in there. And this is a lightning cable. I'll press that in here. So if you have your lightning cable or USB cable plugged in behind your desk, you have to pull a couple of feet out onto your desk, otherwise it's going to fall backwards behind your desk. With this, this will capture that. So when you're using it, you can pull it out, and when you're done, you can slide it back and let the rest hang off your desk. So I think this is going to be really nice for my cable management. I've really been working a lot on my cable management on my desk, and these are the types of cables that take up space on my desk because if I don't keep them on my desk, they'll slide back and fall behind. So this has been one of the missing links to organizing my desk. So this can also be used with things like power cables here. So this is a MacBook power cable. This is an older one. You can put that on here. So I don't know if this would be convenient if you need to take this cable with you all the time. I mean, you could still use this, but if you have a cable you leave on your desk all the time, you can put that in there. When you take your laptop with you, this cable is ready to go when you come back to plug your computer in. So this does hold seven cables and it has room for four smaller ones and three larger ones. So here's a thick HDMI cable. Let's see if that fits. That does fit in there. So that has this big, I think it's called a choke on here. So this one does not work very well with this. Although you could slide it in there if you had to, but it would work with this slim cable. So the slim one works in the small one. You could also put that in the larger one there. Here's a heavier braided cable. So that fits in this one and you can slide it through, but that might be more ideal for this wider one here. It depends on your application and what you would like. And here's a thicker USB cable. So here, that's tight in that small one there. The larger one fits perfect. Here are some flat charging cables. That actually fits in the narrow one there. Because of the shape of this, that actually fits in there very well. I was thinking we'd have to use the larger ones here. Works in there too. That is just, that's perfect right there. So I'm just demonstrating this on my tech bench. This is going to go on my main desk. So I'll insert a picture now of my setup on that desk. And I may only have two cables in right now. And as I get more cables, I may plug those in later. Okay, so here it is on my desk. I have my monitor stand here. I have my switch. I have a phone plugged in here. I have a couple different cables. This is a lightning cable, another lightning cable going to my iPad. We have an HDMI cable, and this is just another lightning cable. This isn't connected to anything right now. It's just it's sitting on my desk, and now it's out of the way. So I can pull these through. Now, if I... Well, this one's pretty slick. If I yank on, say, this one real hard, I mean, I can move this whole thing, but it's easy to move back. But this one, like, goes through pretty good, like so. And this one's also a little bit short. That's one reason why it yanks it. I think I only have, like, a foot more on this one than is sticking out here, whereas this one is a full, like, six-foot cable. So if I unplug this from the iPad, I can fish that back down through. So it's short. So before I would have to have that thing sticking out on my desk a couple feet 
so it wouldn't fall behind the desk. This captures it. So that's the envisioned cable organizer. I think this is a great option if you have cables on your desk and you want better organization. Now, I'm showing where you slide these out. You can use these just for stationary cables too. Like if you have a cable going to a printer and you want to help organize them, you can run that through here. That's no problem either. I do like that this is heavy and I don't have to adhere it to the desk so I can move it around easy. If I need to clean, I can just pick this thing up, wipe under it, set it right back down. So I think this is gonna be a great addition to my desk. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.